Hi guys, I'm Ian. Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. We have another cool one for you today out at the range. We have a British Farquaad Hill rifle. These were uh, used briefly by the British Air Corps during World War I. And uh, we're going to have a good time taking it out to the range today. These are uh, semi-automatic, very early design. Use a drum magazine. And uh, not a whole lot of these made. So, 303 caliber British. So you can see as a size reference, the Farquaad Hill is a little bit longer than uh, your standard World War I infield. A little bit heavier. Has the tactical wooden front grip on there. So with the Farquaad Hill today, we're going to be using 303 S&B ammo. This was generously provided to us by LuckyGunner.com. So uh, check them out if you need to get some yourself. So the way this drum works, there's a little tab here, and you have a dummy follower round. And then we have a, a button on the back, or a switch on the back, that slides up and down. That switch extends and retracts the catch on the magazine. So there are no feed lips on this mag. What you do, and take a round, put it in here, pull the switch up, push the round in, and then bring the switch down. That loads the round into the mag and holds it in place. When you're ready to fire, you mount the, the, the drum in the gun and then switch the magazine, push this back up. That unlocks the ammunition in the drum into the gun. If you were to, to open this up while the drum's out of the gun, all the ammo just flies out. All right, guys, we're going to try some shooting with the Farquaad Hill. One of the interesting things here is this actually has magazine catches in the front and the back. So I insert the magazine, and then I need to actually release the cartridges. And now you see the first one pops up into the feedway. All right, so you guys may remember from the video on the ZH-29 that it had this weird system where you pull the trigger to close the bolt. The Farquaad Hill works the same way. So first I pull the trigger once, that closes the bolt. The second time I pull the trigger, it fires. This is a really pleasant gun to shoot. I'm actually very surprised by it. The recoil is really gentle, and the dual spring setup that uh, Farquhar came up with for this gun works really well. This dumps the brass out just bloop, right into a nice pile. Um, ejects cleanly, loads cleanly. I'm really impressed with this gun. So you wouldn't want to load the mags for this in the trenches of Flanders, but I certainly wouldn't mind having it as a shooter. This is a nice piece. Thanks for watching.